In the U.S., prostate cancer is one of the most common cancers among men, as well as second leading cause of cancer deaths in men. Salina so Regional Health Center has a new tool that can play a vital role in monitoring the progression and detecting prostate cancer. Hello, I'm Justin Sainer, Nuclear Medicine Technologist and Associate Radiation Safety Officer at Salina Regional Health Center. Justin, thank you so much for being on the show. We're going to be talking about diagnostic procedures for prostate cancer, including a new procedure you're doing called Plarify. So let's start out with talking about what you have been doing in the past. Sure. So uh, historically, we would uh, do what we call conventional imaging. So patients would come in for skeletal and soft tissue imaging using CT, MRI, or a nuclear medicine bone scan. So. Those are great first-line tools to use for uh, staging and just checking patients out, but sometimes they don't tell the whole story. Which brings us to the new procedure I had mentioned, so why don't you talk about that? Yeah, so we have a new PET scan offering here. It's called Polarify. Uh, it's a radioactive PSMA imaging tracer. Uh, PSMA stands for prostate-specific membrane antigen, and that is a protein that's overexpressed in prostate cancer cells. Um, so. When we inject the PSMA target or Polarify, it seeks out prostate cancer. And utilizing a PET camera, we can detect where your, that goes uh, precisely. And it's combined with a CT uh, scanner as well. So we do CT scan and a PET scan. We combine the two sets of images together and we get functional and structural information from one set of pictures. Okay, so you'd mentioned, you know, that they come in originally for the for their diagnostic procedure. So who is the Plarify for more? So we will usually see patients for a recurrent prostate cancer. They've okay. gone through definitive therapy. Um, they've gotten um, an unfortunate re reoccurrence from their PSA ele elevating, and then would do a, a Plarify scan to see if maybe they have had reoccurrence of prostate cancer. So their, their PSAs are constantly checked after, after the cancer correct. gets elevated and then they come to, to see you. That's correct. Okay. So is this something that patients need to kind of talk to their doctor, doctors about then? Yeah. Or how it's not something they would suggest, the doctors would suggest to use this procedure? Yeah. So PSA would be uh, first line, the most sensitive test to see if there's maybe any change. Um, so that measures prostate cancer cells potentially uh, growing. And if there's been a rise or maybe a persistent PSA level, then this could be a potential test for those patients. Thank you so much for some great information and for coming on the show. And thank you for watching. For more information, please visit srhc.com, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram.